One to go up top, dumps it off across the middle, Fournette. What is going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here for another episode of Treeb Talks. What is going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here, and today we are going to be doing something extremely stupid early. Some of you might not enjoy it. Some of you might say, Treeb, it's too early to see how many games the Jags are going to win this year. But that is all part of the fun, ladies and gentlemen. And this isn't going to be the only video I make about this. We're going to do one post-draft. We're going to do one post-preseason. You know, we're going to be doing uh, about three of these videos about what is the over-under for wins for the Jacksonville Jaguars heading into the 2019 through 2020 regular season, ladies and gentlemen. The... Uh, schedule dropped yesterday. We're going to be going in depth on that one, talking about games that are winnable, games we'll probably lose, and games that are up in the air, so we can determine the over-under for the amount of wins that the Jaguars will get in 2019. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, this is what is the over-and-under for wins for the Jaguars in 2019. All right, first of all, we're going to have to discuss the division. Now, inside the division, the AFC South might be one of the most difficult divisions in the NFL next year, and I actually mean that. There are some people that think the AFC South is truly the real deal and has potential to be that good division in the NFL where it produces two, maybe three uh, playoff teams in 2019. But the Jags are going to have to play well, and they're going to have to play good with Nick Foles in order to beat these division opponents. You know, you got Deshaun Watson, the Houston Texans, Andrew Luck and the Indianapolis Colts, Marcus Mariota, who's on a prove-it year with the Tennessee Titans, and the Titans defense has just gotten better throughout the uh, 2019 offseason. So this is going to be a hard division for the Jaguars to win in, and that's why I said it's going to be a 50-50 split. I'm not going to say the Jags completely lose every game in the division. I'm not going to say they win every game in the division. I'm going to say over under three wins in the division, hopefully one win against each opponent, maybe shutting out maybe Houston or something, but I'm saying probably three is the line for division wins in 2019, and hopefully that the Jags can surpass that and make sure that they have a chance to win this division, because three wins inside the division might not be a lot, because... You know, if you win three, you're also losing three. So the Jags are going to have to kind of surpass that line to be able to make it to the playoffs. But I think that's a fair line of the division opponents is three over under three wins uh, within the division. So that is what Treb is thinking with the division games. Now we're talking about games that the Jags should win in 2019. Games where the Jags should be favored and where the Jags are the better team. One of them, Broncos Week 4. The Jags, like I said in my schedule reveal, have had really good success against Joe Flacco. Now, this Denver defense is still pretty good, but this offense is still eh. This Jaguar run defense improves a lot every single year, and hopefully next year it just keeps on getting better and better and better, and the Jags can shut down Phillip Lindsley, make uh, Joe Flacco throw the ball, and make sure that our secondary is clamping those wide receivers down. This is a game that I can say with a lot of confidence that the Jags are going to be able to win in Week 4 against the Denver Broncos. Next up, we got the Cincinnati Bengals in Week number 7. This is a team that might be the worst team in football next year, depending on their quarterback situation and how well this new coach in Zachary Taylor uh, directs this team. You know, it could go really bad or really mediocre. I don't see it going really good, especially in the AFC North where I think the Browns are going to be really good. Uh, I think the Steelers still with James Conner and Juju Smith-Schuster, I think they're still going to be able to be a really good football team. And I think the Ravens too, I think they'll fall off just a little bit. But they're still going to be a better team than the Bengals. So the Bengals are going to be at the bottom of the AFC North and, you know, not playing for a whole lot. So this is, again, a game that I think the Jags should win in Week 7 against the Cincinnati Bengals. Another one is the New York Jets in Week Number 8. And I know Jets fans will say, we got Le'Veon Bell. Be scared. We did well in free agency. The Jets just don't scare me. As long as Sam Darnold's their quarterback, I'm not worried about anything because I think... Sam Darnold was the worst quarterback in that class. I think even guys like Josh Allen is going to have 
more success than Sam Darnold in the NFL. So the Jets is another game I anticipate us winning. And the Jags, again, always do well against Le'Veon Bell. Uh, the three times he faced us, I don't think he ever got more than 100 yards rushing. The Jags, again, you know, do a really good job at shutting Le'Veon Bell down. So those are the three games that I think the Jags should be able to win without a question mark. You know, you got the Broncos in Week 4, the Bengals in Week 7, and the Jets in Week number 8. Next up, we have games that are kind of up in the air, starting things off with Tampa Bay in week number 12, a Florida v. Florida matchup. Now, I think Bruce Arians is exactly what this Tampa Bay team needed. They set records on offense last year, but weren't able to get a victory. Also, Tampa Bay, I think, is a dark horse to trade up in the NFL draft to try and get Kyler Murray or Dwayne Haskins on the lowest of keys, even though Jameis Winston seems to be the guy. But, you know, Bruce Arians probably isn't about Jameis Winston being the guy, and he's probably looking at these young quarterbacks thinking, one of these guys has to be it. One of these guys has to be the answer. One of these guys have to be better than Jameis Winston. So, you know, they might be bringing in a new quarterback. Uh, Mike Evans is going to be clamped by Jalen Ramsey or A.J. Boye, hoping that they're healthy, knock on wood. But this team has been really good. You know, they play in a really competitive division, so they're no strangers to upsetting good teams, beating good teams. Uh, they beat the Saints in Week 1 last year. I think they might have actually swept the Saints last year. I could be wrong, but, you know, they, they perform well in, in games that they shouldn't win. So this is one of those games that it could be a trap game, sort of. The Jags need to make sure they take care of business against Tampa Bay in Week 12. Next up, we got the Oakland Raiders in Week 15, my sneaky dark horse team of 2019 if they hit on all three of these draft picks and Derek Carr can get his uh chemistry going with Antonio Brown this Oakland Raiders team could be scary next year but again they are also competing in a hard division with the Kansas City Chiefs as well as the Chargers um, who are both two teams that should be making the playoffs next season so the Raiders are going to have to make a big push but again it's going to be a slept on team it's going to be up in the air the Raiders might be a tough matchup for the Jaguars in 2019 and finally we got the Atlanta Falcons because you never know what Atlanta Falcons team is going to show up sometimes the Falcons look like they could compete for the Super Bowl every single year and other years they look like trash like last year they looked like trash so it depends on what Atlanta team is gonna show up and by week 16 I think we're gonna kind of have a good idea of what Atlanta team we're gonna be playing so uh, hopefully by then the Falcons are kind of going on a downhill slope and the Jags are gonna be able to capitalize on that but Atlanta is another game that is definitely up in the air for the Jaguars in 2019. Next up, we have the struggle category, or in other words, games that I don't think the Jags are going to walk out victorious, and if you do, I think you're being just a tad bit optimistic. Like I said, this is the third is hardest schedule in the league, so even the games that are up in the air and the for sure games that we are supposed to win are going to be tough. The Jags are going to have a rough go of it in their 25th season this year, and hopefully they can capitalize and do something this season and go back to the playoffs. But anyway, the struggle teams are Kansas City week number one. We couldn't have faced a worse team in week number one than the defending runner-ups of the AFC, the Kansas City Chiefs. The Chiefs are going to be one of the best teams in the league next year, especially because Patrick Mahomes is one of the best quarterbacks in the league next year. And hopefully this Jaguar defense rises to the occasion. Like I said to in the uh, schedule reveal, uh, the Jags did okay. The Jags defense did well against this Chiefs team last time they played, but Blake Bortles kind of cost costed us through four interceptions, one off of a offensive lineman helmet that was iconic, obviously. So maybe with Nick Foles coming in and you know being a little bit more of a competent quarterback, and if this Jaguar defense again can step up then maybe we can be able to get this victory, but definitely a struggle game uh, this season. The Panthers in the Week 5 and the Saints in Week 6. That is just a brutal back-to-back -back NFC South uh, double matchup with Carolina and uh, New Orleans. Carolina could be a little bit worse next season, but they still have Cam Newton, and in my opinion, Cam Newton's one of the best quarterbacks in the game right now, so I'm never going to count out the Carolina Panthers as long as Cam Newton is their quarterback. And the New Orleans Saints, of course, are held down by one of the greatest ever do it, maybe the greatest ever do it, Drew Brees, and he's going to be going up against this Jaguar defense for the first time 
time. At least this, you know, defense has been touted as one of the best an elite group uh and we we will be able to see what drew Brees can do and what drew Brees brings to the table against his defense it should be an interesting matchup but it's definitely definitely going to be a struggle for the jags and then finally we got the chargers in week 14 the jags get their yearly beat down by the chargers or by yearly whatever it is the jags seem to always get killed by the chargers and this is definitely not a game i'm counting on for a victory because again we always struggle against the uh chargers and the only time that we beat them at least in my recent memory is when portals threw two interceptions or three interceptions like within the last two minutes or something like that and we still somehow were able to push out a victory which was which is just insane thinking about it you know given the timing and all that shit but yeah the chargers is definitely going to be one of those games that the jags are gonna they're gonna struggle in that one and you know there's only i think i put what four yeah, four four games in here that are going to be an absolute struggle. There's you know some in the games that are up in the air, and only a couple of uh, games that are for sure things. So I guess that kind of shows my confidence in Nick Foles this year, but maybe it doesn't tell the entire story. Now it's the time you've all been waiting for. We are going to be setting the line for the amount of wins the Jaguars will have in 2019. And just a heads up again, this is not Vegas saying these odds. This is Treeb from Treeb Talks' line. It's not official anywhere. Don't comment down below that Vegas has something different because they probably do. And that's not what this video is about. This is what I think the Jaguars line will be for the 2019 season. And I'm going to go over under seven wins. Seven is going to be the line. Do you think the Jags are going to be going over seven wins or under seven wins? That That's basically when I look at the schedule right now and I think of teams that I'm comfortable with and that teams I think that we should be able to take down, it's about seven total. I think seven total is a fair line and, you know, it's a losing record, obviously, seven and nine, but could be a lot worse. Could be four, could be five, but with Nick Foles in the building and not knowing what he can do, I have a little bit of optimism, so I'm going to put the line at seven. What do you guys think? Do you think the Jags are going to win more than seven games or less than seven games? And that was what is the line for the Jaguars wins in 2019. What do you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget, you can check the links down below as well. You can like me on Facebook at Troop Talks. Follow me on Twitter at Troop Talks. Follow me on Instagram at Trey Von Pixley. You want to rock some Troop Talks merch? Go over to my Teespring uh, page, teespring.com forward slash doors forward slash Troop Talks to get your swag today. Also, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon to get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel six days a week. Ain't nobody outworking me. Those are just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. As always, you guys have a great day.